This movie will show you how to set custom error pages for your domain or subdomain through your control panel. To do this, you need to complete three simple steps. Log into your control panel, open the subdomain manager, and set the desired custom error pages. First, you need to log into your web hosting control panel. You can do this through the control panel login link located in the top right corner of your screen. Enter your web hosting account details in the members area login form. This will be your username and then your password. Now click the login button to go straight to your control panel. OK, you have just completed the first step. Let's proceed to the second step, opening the subdomain manager section. In the control panel homepage, look for the subdomain manager icon located in the site management section. Click on the icon to open the subdomain manager. OK, we have now completed two steps. Let's proceed to the last step setting custom error pages for your domain or subdomain. You are now in the subdomain manager interface, listing all domains and subdomains currently hosted in your web hosting account. Select a domain that you wish to set custom error pages for and then click the edit icon. Now you are in the edit subdomain interface where you will see several options for setting your custom error pages for the selected host. They will come up in place of the generic error messages. To customize the error 400 page, select a custom URL from the drop down menu and specify the name of the file that you have created to replace the default error message. Repeat the procedure with the other error pages that you want to customize, but make sure that you input the correct file path in the form. One tip from us is to specify the error type in the name of your custom error page file. This will avoid any possible confusion in the future. As soon as you are ready setting all custom error pages, click the apply button to save all the changes you have made. A green pop-up message will confirm for you that the settings have been modified successfully and will be reflected online within 10 minutes. And that's it. Now you know how to set custom error pages for your domain or subdomain.